Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we will go through each of the elements that are available in the palette tab. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of these elements. And when we are designing more and more complicated flows, we will be using these elements for your better understanding. In this tutorial, I just want to do give you a quick overview. If you did not understand anything, or if you, there is some doubts, that's fine. Eventually, when we do more examples of creation of the flows, then you're going to go ahead and use these elements and it will help you understand it better. So if you have not understood anything for now, that's fine. Just bear with me for the next couple of tutorials and everything will fall in place. So let's first look at the palette tab. The palette tab has different types of elements which we can use to create a flow. And what we can see is it is supposed to help you draw out your flow just like an artist uses her palette of colors to paint a picture. Now, the elements in the palette tab as categorized into these different categories, you have draft tools, user interface, logic, and data. Now, under the draft tools, you see this element called step. Now, when you click on the step at the below, you will see what the step element does. The step element you can use to quickly sketch out a flow. And then you can even convert this step element into a screen element. Now, before a flow can be activated, the step elements needs to be replaced. It means if your flow, you wanted to make it an active status, the, the uh, step elements has to be converted into a screen element. Otherwise, you will not be able to activate your flow. Now, under the user interface, you see there is an element available called screen. This particular element we have used in our last tutorials when we are creating the flow. The screen element is used to create a user interface screen for either showing information or collecting some data from the user. So when you click on the screen, you see the definition of this element under the description. So whenever you wanted to create a screen for the user to display some information or you want to capture some data, then you will use this element here. Then under the logic, you have four elements are present. One you have is the decision, assignment, loop, and wait. These elements are used a lot to give you a flow intelligence to basically behave differently depending on the inputs and the data. So let's say the decision element is basically used if you wanted to have two different outcomes based on a decision. So let's say you wanted to check what is the account type of my customer. And if the account type of the customer is savings account, you wanted to take him to a different route. And if the account type of the customer is a money market account, then you wanted to take the customer to, through a different route. So this element is used in those kind of scenarios to make your flow very intelligent. Then this assignment is used to change or set the value for the variables. The loop, let's say you wanted to go ahead and loop through all the different accounts that are available for this particular city and state. You wanted to loop through each of the elements and you want to update the shipping address of all those accounts. Then you can go ahead and use this loop element. The wait elements basically defines the events to wait for and also specify where to route the flow when those events occur. Now, under the data section, you see these are the different elements that are available. This particular section contains the elements to create, update, look up, and delete the records. And also, there are also fast versions of each of these elements that can act upon the S object variable. So basically a placeholder which represents a Salesforce object. So you can see here you have record create, record update, record lookup, and record delete. And then you have fast create, fast update, fast lookup, and fast delete. So the record create is basically if you want to create a record using the fields and the values that you specify individually, that is what the record create will do. And what is the difference between the record create and the fast create? This fast create will create a record using the fields and the values 
from a specified s object variable so this is like a faster version of creating record we will go through in de depth what is the difference between fast create and record create but for now you can understand that this under this data section you have these elements which is basically used to create update look up and delete the records and then you have the fast versions of each of these element which act upon the s object variables you know that those are considered as the s object is nothing but it's a placeholder which represents a salesforce object then you have is the quick action section and which has all these different actions that you can perform this particular section has all the elements that have object specific or global quick actions and then you have is the static actions now under the static action these are the different elements which are present the elements in this section have configuration actions like post to chatter, send email, submit for approval. So these are the different actions that are available under the static actions section. Now, when you click on each of these, you will see the description under here and you can understand, you can get a quick overview of what each of these actions are doing. So this is about the palette tab that we have. 